The Impetuous Breeze and the Diplomatic Sun This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. A Boston man an ulster had, an ulster with a cape that fluttered. It smacked his face and made him mad, and Polly got remarks, he uttered. I bought it at a bargain, said he. I'm tired of the thing already. The wind that chanced to blow that day was easterly and rather strong, too. It loved to see the galling way that clothes vex those whom they belong to. Now watch me, cried this spell of weather. I'll rid him of it altogether. It whirled the man across the street. It banged him up against a railing. It twined the ulster round his feet, but all of this was unavailing. For not without resource it found him, he drew the ulster closer round him. My word, the man was heard to say, although I like not such abuse, it's not strange the wind is strong today. It always is in Massachusetts. Such weather threatens much the health of inhabitants this commonwealth of. The sun, emerging from a rift, between the clouds observed the victim, and how the wind beset and biffed, belabored, buffeted, and kicked him. Said he, The wind is doubtless new here, tis quite the freshest ever blew here. And then he put forth all his strength, his warmth with might and main exerted, till upward in its tube at length the mercury most nimbly spurted. Phenomenal the curious sight was, so swift the rise in Fahrenheit was. The man supposed himself at first the prey of some new mode of smelting. His pulses were about to burst, his every limb seemed slowly melting, and as the heat began to numb him, he cast the ulster wildly from him. Impulsive breeze, the use of force, observed the sun, a foolish act is perceiving which you see, of course, how highly efficacious tact is. The wandering wind replied, Good gracious, you're right about the efficacious. The moral deals, as morals do, with tact and all its virtues boasted. But still I can't forget, can you, that wretched man first chilled, then roasted? Bronchitis seized him shortly after, and that's no cause for vulgar laughter. End of The Impetuous Breeze and the Diplomatic Sun End of Fables for the Frivolous by Guy Wetmore Carroll These poems read by Phil Chenevere in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Thank you for listening.